It was the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. The First World War ended this way when the Armistice Treaty was signed in the waning minutes of November 11th, 1918. It was the bloodiest international conflict the world had yet seen. The cost of the conflict was devastating. Not only were 10 million troops killed, but the profession of plastic surgery was invented just to deal with the huge numbers of soldiers who were coming home with horrifying injuries. The world was glad to be done with it. 20 years later, in 1938, the United States created a legal holiday, then known as Armistice Day, to honor the veterans of the First World War, dedicated to the cause of world peace. But the war to end all wars wasn't. By 1954, America had already been through another world war and the Korean War. So the US Congress revised the Armistice Day Bill, renaming it Veterans Day, to honor all American veterans of all wars. During a brief period in the 1970s, the holiday was celebrated in late October. But in 1975, President Gerald Ford returned it to its original date of November 11th. The new policy took place in 1978 and has endured ever since. Where Memorial Day honors our nation's fallen service members, Veterans Day is for all veterans of the United States Armed Forces. My name is Brian Bishop. I'm a technical artist at Wargaming. My name is Marvin Chow. I'm an assistant customer support manager at Wargaming. I'm Alex Kendi, a game designer at Wargaming. My name is Ian Stitzlein. I'm an AI engineer at Wargaming. My name is William Claney, and I'm an assistant producer at Wargaming. I'm Mike Longwell, and I'm a military researcher here at Wargaming. I'm Matt Stewart. I'm a vehicle artist at Wargaming. I'm Scott Broder, and I'm a gameplay engineer at Wargaming. I'm Patrick Namolsky, director of military research for Wargaming Seattle. Please join Wargaming in thanking all those who have answered the call to protect freedom and American ideals for over two centuries.